Right, we'll just do a quick practice on the basic comparisons and logical operators. Now, I showed you this file uh, last time in the last video, and I feel like some of it was probably confusing, especially the not uh, Boolean uh, logical operator. So, not is essentially just a reversing of a value. So, as I said before, hot for example is true let's imagine if if hot is true then cold is false in general okay what cold is also is not hot okay cold is the opposite of hot so it is not hot so the value of a cold occurring a cold uh, temperature occurring is the opposite of the value of a hot the truth of a hot part. So if it is hot, then it's not cold. If it's if it's if it isn't hot, then it's not not cold. So it is cold, essentially, right? So I could express cold simply as cold is not hot because it's the opposite of hot. So whatever value this boolean has cold should be the opposite because it's not the same as the hot value so cold is now false if we make hot now equal to true to uh, false sorry then cold will be true because cold the value the truth value of cold is the opposite of the truth value of hot the same can be said for example for um wet we'll say is false and dry is true or dry is simply not wet okay now before you think to yourself well it could be you know it could be warm it could be in the middle of hot and cold it could be in the middle of wet and dry we aren't really thinking about edge cases here i'm just using opposites to kind of bring a point back let's not think about the middle case just about the opposite case okay so we got wet and dry uh, we've got night and day for example oops not night not day what do I mean of course day is day it's itself and these are just a few boolean values that you can produce with not so you should see that a is false uh, because its truth is the opposite of the truth of the night so if the night is true if it is night then it's not day so day is false if it isn't night then it is day so not day is false in a sense so day is true okay you could imagine maybe like an opposite day so on opposite day the value true is actually false because it is negative it is inverted so this is an example of not true okay on opposite day day the value false is actually true because it is inverted this is an example of not false okay so just try and refer to that you know if you need to kind of clarify uh, this kind of thing and then we also have and okay so let's say um, we want a value to be one value and another value so in order for truth value to be true one value 
and another value must be true okay so let's make we'll put value one and value two let's make value one true and let's make value two false for example now the true value will be false because the true value requires that both value one and value two are true since only one of these two values is true the true value cannot be true and thereby it's false okay we'll copy and paste these well actually I don't know why I did that. We'll copy and paste these. And we'll have a true value 2. That is true. Okay. And we'll have value 3, value 4, true value 2 is value 3, and value 4. Not 24. And we're going to make value 4 true. Okay. And you'll see here. That true value 2 will now be true. This is because both values 3 and 4 have a Boolean value of true. Okay, you can apply this also to truth value 3 is 1 is less than 3 and five is more than three so basically the and here is saying is the item on the left true and the item on the right true okay and if we put another and it's still the same you know is this true and this true you know so whatever that is five is greater than four for example and true value three should be true because all of these three statements are true okay and there we go that's more or less how um the and statement works or the and operator should i say the or operator is far more flexible so let's say we have we'll copy and paste these again because just saves a lot of time you guys at home uh, you should probably not co copy and paste these false so truth value 4 is value 5 value 6 instead of and we're going to put or and essentially or just says if one of these values is true then this is fine okay and because value 5 is true whoops haven't defined them naughty boy the true value 4 should be true okay I can copy and paste this again and really I'll just I'll just use the same actually all I have to copy and paste is this. Change the values. Okay, copy. Oops. Copy. Paste this here. Call it true value 5. And we're also going to say if value 2 is true. So value 2 isn't true. Value 6 isn't true. But one of these values, value 5, is true. So this should be true. Otherwise, I can explain why, but I'm pretty sure it will be. Never tested it before, though, so, you know, could be wrong. Maybe my understanding of this logic is completely flawed. Nope. It was completely right. So this doesn't read the same as the ands. With the ands, everything that's to the left or the right of an and must be true, okay? With the or values here, not everything has to be true. Just one of any of these that are within an or has to be true, okay? The only way for the all values to be something to be false under an all value is really for every single item uh, within this to be false. So let's say value uh, six 
or value 2 because we know that value 2 is false and value 6 is false. So in an OR statement, the true value is only false if both or all of the items that are referred to with ORs are false. Proof value 6 better be false. Yes, there we go. So it's false. You can see that there. Yeah. Something to take away is you can combine these uh, all together. So, for example, we can say truth and value, oops, value seven is value six or value four. And value um, say value one. Make your predictions on whether this will be true or not. Make your predictions now. Have a little look at the statement. Think about it. Think about it a little bit. I don't know the answer, but we'll show you. We'll show you this. So this is your answer. Uh, you may want to pause and think. Okay, I'm going to reveal the answer now. It's true. So why is it true? Well, so with the and, the statement on the left has to be true, and so does the statement on the right. Here, it may look like uh, we're asking, is value 4 true and is value 1 true? Well, value 4 is true anyway, so that's kind of neither here nor there. Tell you what, we'll swap these round. We'll swap these round. We'll put value 6 there. Value 4 there. See what happens. I'll let you guys guess. Still true. Still true. So even though value 6 is false, this and here, it's asking if the entire thing on the left is true. So it's actually asking if value 4 or value 6 is true. So it's asking if this OR is true. And OR is true as long as one of the two or two uh, booleans within the OR is true. Because value 4 is true, this to the left of the AND, of the and keyword is true. Okay? Because the OR has evaluated this to be true. Okay? So this, this has now been evaluated true. And value 1 just is assigned true. So, both this and this are correct, are true values, okay? This is a little confusing, and a better way to write this might be like this. Value for or value 6. To put them in parenthesis. And... Value 1. Okay. This is already how um, Python is processing uh, these, these, these Boolean values. But it's just a good way for you to see, you know, how your statements are being evaluated. And also to assure that they evaluate in a certain way. So now we know that the true value that we are computing is value 4 or value 6 okay we don't now think that maybe and only refers to value 6 rather than this entire calculation yeah if you would be on that um we can also do something like this truth value 9 equals value for or value mm, what else is false values now value 4 isn't false value 2 is false and so is value 6 and value 1 as before okay so we'll do that 
and you'll see that this is false because whilst value 1 is true this or statement both items in it are false so this side will be false so this should this truth value 9 should be false okay and there we are however if we use not this will reverse the boolean value inside of these brackets which is a boolean value of false and so the boolean value will now be true okay i'm just going to get rid of that for now and i'm going to copy and paste this and i'm going to rewrite it that way and this new value which we'll call truth value 10 should be equal to true so let's evaluate truth value 10 oh it's equal to false still ah oh, that's because sorry i didn't put the not there silly silly man hey silly man we'll actually put print you know because i'm i'm getting lazy by not putting print really I know that I can just ask the machine to evaluate, but it's just better to put print, I think. Yep, so that is true, okay? So that is more or less the logical operators completely uh, done, completely sorted out. I'll very briefly just remind you of the comparison operators. So if I want to compare one item to another item to see if they're both the same, Remember, I've got to use double equals. So we'll say the truth value of as string is equal to i equals equals i. And of course, this equals equals me is not saying that this is equal to that. Here, this says that a string is now equal to this here on the right. But this here asks, is this item equal to that item? The answer is yes, so a string should be a boolean of value true. So let's print a string. And it's true. We could also have this. A string 2 is equal to i. I like that. The capital letter and the lowercase are two different are two different characters, even though they look the same. So this should be false. And basically the double equals, as I've said before, is asking the machine, is the item on the left uh, the same as the item on the right? Whereas the singular equals is saying the item on the left is now equal to the item on the right. Now because here the item on the right is a calculation, it's a it's an answer to a question. We ask the question, is that the same as that? The item on the right is a boolean because that's the answer to the question. So in this case it's a boolean of true, in this case it's a boolean of false. So we're saying is a string equal to this calculation or this item, which happens to be a boolean in this case, okay? Quite confusing, I know, but stay with me. So that's equals equals. There's the opposite of this is a string is equal to i not equal to i. So we're saying is i, is this item on the left, sorry, not equal to this item on the right? Well, no, it isn't not equal to the item on the right. So this is false. Okay. This is not true. It's like saying, is red blue? Um, no, red isn't blue. Is red not blue? Yes, red is not blue. So that is true. Red is not blue. So we're saying, is I not I? No, that is false. That's a false question. That's a false uh, answer. I is not I. I not being equal to I is false. Okay? And A string 
uphill is equal to I not equal to I lowercase, okay? Because big uppercase I is not equal to I lowercase, this should compute as true, okay? I'll prove it here by printing both of the uh, uh, strings. Oh, it's because I haven't, uh, yeah, sorry. I'm just going to do it lazily. Yeah, it is true. So that's uh, that comparison operator. I won't go over many, the rest of them in too much detail now. The next comparison there is just one is bigger than two. This isn't true, so this would lead to a false value. So let's say numbool one. 1 is greater than 2, number 2, 1 is less than 2, okay? And number 1 should be false because 1 is not greater than 2, and number 2 should be true because 1 is less than 2, okay? So number 1, number 2. I went over this before in the... Uh, for basics comparisons and logical operators and these are the much much easier concepts to get so we'll get again number one is equal to one is less than or equal to one number two is equal to one is less than or equal to zero okay now here we're asking if this item on the left is less than or equal to this item on the right. Now, 1 is obviously less than or equal to 1 because it's equal to 1. Okay? It's not less than 0 and it's not equal to 0, so number 2 should be false. So number 1 should have a true value and number 2 should have a false value. Okay? And then one last... Uh, comparison operator is greater than or equal to so if one is greater than or equal to one which it is because it is one or one is greater than or equal to two which it isn't because it's not greater than two and it not and it isn't two so number one once again should be true and number two should be false okay I would suggest revising the not operators, the not equal to operator, and the also the not operator in your spare time because they're probably the most complex uh, operators, the hardest logic to wrap your head around because it's kind of, like I said, it's like opposite day, it's an inversion, it's a backwards um, kind of way of presenting something. And I would also encourage basically playing around with the combinations of these uh, logical operators just to see what kind of values you get true true and false values if you get stuck don't worry you know just just run it just see what happens no reason to not be af to, to be afraid and um you can get this file itself on my github fully commented anyways thanks for watching